I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. Amen? Now, this, the world uh, had become just, you know, the world. And the church is not to follow the world. The church is in the world, but not of the world. But the hazard was this, that the gospel was cheapened and obedience to the living Christ was gradually lost beneath the formula and the ritual. So in the end, grace could literally be sold for monetary gain. The whole Protestant movement emanated from Germany. Here's another German. The challenge to the Christian church began with Martin Luther in the 16th century. We talked about him before. You remember Martin Luther, the one Martin Luther King was named after, Andrew, you remember? All right. Well, he was a German monk, a Catholic priest, and a professor of theology, and a seminal figure in the 16th century Protestant Reformation. He strongly disputed the claim that freedom from God's punishment for sin could be purchased for monetary value. He confronted indulgent salesmen. The guy's name was Johann Tetzel. He was a Dominican friar and his 95 thesis. So this was a friar who would go around, the Catholic Church would say, if you've done this, you pay this amount. If you've done that, you pay this amount. That was called indulgences. So you could pay for your sins, literally. So Martin Luther challenged him, say you can't pay for your sins. That way, with money, he confronted indulgences and his refusal to, re and then he tacked a 95 thesis on a church in Wittenberg. The 95 thesis, said 95 things that the Catholic or universal church needed to do to reform. He did not want to start a movement other than to reform the church that he was in. He was a priest. But when the Pope, Leo X, demanded that he retract his statements three years later in 1520, he refused to take his writings off the wall and nobody could debate him. And when he refused, he was excommunicated from the church. And the protestant Reformation began, and all of these churches, Baptist, Holiness, Church of God in Christ, United Methodist, uh, 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 Luther, the Lutheran Church, his church, all of them came out of that movement, 1520. Anyway, ultimately, just like uh, uh, um, Dietrich Bonhoeffer, he became killed. The Nazis killed Dietrich Bonhoeffer. He gave his life for what he believed in, his discipleship. So did Martin Luther. They burned him at the stake. His followers started the Protestant churches, and they burned him at the stake. So Luther taught that salvation and subsequently eternity in heaven is not earned by good deeds, but is received only as a free gift of God's grace through faith in Jesus Christ. Gift of, by faith in Jesus Christ. Everybody with me? Got to have our theology right. My wife asked me yesterday, do you believe you have to defend the souls of the people in Hotep Missionary Baptist Church? I said, absolutely. It's my job to give them. Now, Jesus is the ultimate bodyguard. And my job is to point to him, but to clearly lay out a dynamic where they can have a better relationship with him so he can truly protect them. How can they hear without a preacher? That's my job. All right? So... His theology challenged the authority of the Pope of the Roman Catholic Church by teaching that the Bible is the only source of divinely revealed knowledge. His battle cry was sola scriptura. They used to go down the street and say, sola scriptura. That was Latin for only the word. Only the word. No man can stand in between the word and a person.